Hey, hold on. So, I'm minding my own business and I decided to watch my video on YouTube. The latest one, you know, should have died in a fire monkey or whatever the fuck. So I'm watching this video and I decided, you know what? It's got echo on it. So, let's see what the translator will say. So I want you to try turn the translator on. Um, wait a minute. I watched the subliminal messages and the evil in which they got me speaking. Some shit about racism and destruction shit. You gotta read it. Because I'm gonna videotape it next. I just want you to tell me what what it sounds like when you read it. I mean, well, we'll do the same thing on your page when you're watching it. You know? Who the hell they got translating the video? That's one thing we need to worry about. Watch this. But I'm finished finishing this hot dog first. Let's do it on a laptop. I don't want to do it on a big screen. Now, we've all seen this video. I'm glad you got burned, monkey. Now, watch this. I don't want to play the whole thing, but maybe I should. Um, Burnt. It was burnt. Crispy. Crispy. 
I still got it. I still got it. Skin coming off. Skin coming off. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That skin coming off. That skin coming off. It's going to be three months before you get your knees back, Mr. Heat. I'm not made like you. I'm not made like you. It's been two weeks, fool. Two weeks, fool. I'm made better than you. Made better than you. You are a cheap copy, cheap copy of what my ancestors what used, my to be. used to be. I'm an old ma. I'm an old ma. But still more up to date than you. More up to date than you. You can't do what I do. Can't do what I do. You can't heal how I can't heal.
I don't know shit about no shit about me. I walked through the fire. I walked through the fire. I picked it up. I picked it up. I held it. I held it. I hugged it. I hugged it. Don't tell me about pain. Don't tell me about pain. Because the only thing that hurts, the only thing that hurts, is ignorant people. Is ignorant people say dumb shit. Dumb shit. I can't tell you, I can't tell don't you, don't kill somebody, don't on, the kill video, somebody on the video, but somebody can type it down on the bottom of the video. Nobody does an investigation nobody does unless somebody, somebody is hurt. Somebody is hurt. Now, now, if I told people, if I told people, if I told people that I done something, that I done something, would you go do something? Would you go do something? I'm in violation of law. I'm in violation of laws. But they allow idiots to do stuff. They allow idiots. They allow idiots. They allow idiots. They allow idiots. Baboons to type the shit on the bottom of our page. It's not only rude and not only simple to the people who have to read the videos, but for the people that make the videos. If I'm not talking about this subject or that subject, don't write it on the bottom of my page. Don't write threats on my Don't send threats to my personal message. See, I'm one of the last people on YouTube that allows people to send them personal messages that they don't know. They don't know. So when the door is open, don't get it closed. Don't get it closed. Understand what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Don't try to shut. Don't try to because what I'm saying is touching you somewhere where you can't understand. Don't feel bad because I'm not you. I'm not you because I'm better than you. I'm better than you. Your God made me like that. So I can heal faster than some. Faster than most. Faster than most. Better than some. Better than some. Better than most. Better than most. You can't walk through the fire. Get your face back in a week. Back in a week. I did. I did. But they say I should have died in the fire. They say I should have died in the fire. They say I should have died in the fire. They say I should have died in the fire. Not this time. Not this time. So, what's tripping me out, folks, is this. You're on YouTube, and you put down that you want somebody to be able to translate your words so maybe you can reach a bigger audience. I speak English. I heard what I was saying in that song. Um, I didn't understand some of the shit that they're translated to. It sounded like a bunch of terrorist bullshit when I was reading it. It was like, damn. Is that what they want us to look like when some people can read English but not understand English? I don't know how to say that, but, you know, what happens when somebody's reading one of our videos because they really don't understand English but they can read English? You know what I'm saying? That right there made no fucking sense at all. It sounded like a bunch of gibberish and it sounded like some dangerous terrorist shit. What if terrorists are taking our videos and putting encrypted messages behind the fucking videos and shit and then, you know, nobody wants to translate that shit but some terrorists say, okay, you know, let's use this song and just translate the words wrong. Let's use this video and translate the words wrong. So when one of our people click on the video, hit translate, everybody would be like, what the hell does that mean? Oh, just chalk it up. We don't know. It's like it's a new technology. They'll figure it out. But um, I found that to be pretty fucking disturbing. Let me try a different video, you know, because I've tried this before, but I never just watched the whole video. And it's fucked up. Oh wow, let me see. I wonder if give him a face will work. Translate, let's see. Come on. Here we go, let's see what happens. Oh, 
Hold on. Are you ready for this? That was some classic shit there. But look, what I'm trying to say is that none of that stuff translated correctly. You noticed that. It didn't even translate right. The translation was all wrong. My face looks pretty good after the fire, huh? Pissed me off my old scar coming back. Bastard. So, um, yeah, um, like I said, the translations, man, I'm going to go to a Lady Gaga video or some shit like that. See if they make her look like a terrorist and shit. Hold on. Some reason. 
Notice how during I'm saying certain shit and then they're putting certain words on the screen. It's 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 awesome. That shit is encrypted. That's some encrypted shit that they're writing on the. I gotta uh, one more one more video. I gotta find somebody. I gotta find somebody else's video to prove my point here. Can't do it with just one of my videos. Now, if you cannot understand, all you have to do is say something. You need stand advice. <laughs> you don't need advice. You already know what. I mean, it's off the hook. Let me see. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Now let's see. This is the Barry Bonds video I did. I'm not talking in this video at all. I don't believe. I'm gonna go ahead and try this again. Hmm. It's not giving me that option on this video. Hmm. Okay. Now let me get off my page completely now. On that note, let me see. Here's a video of a, it's my big brother Sean right here. I'm going to go ahead. Oh, hell, wait a minute. It's my little brother. I'm older than him. Duh. Now let me go see what they got him talking like. Let's do his Casey Anthony video, which I didn't want to do nothing to this effect. I'm going to have to get him some new theme music. Let's translate. Let's see what they're going to do to you, Sean. Now, here how it goes. Let's see what he's going to do to him. Come on, man. Translate. Okay, damn it, I'm taking too long to do this video. Let's see. Come on, Sean, do it. In a while, it's been a long time. Let's see. It says out on the screen. Oh, you can read. Six. Zombie yesterday. The acquittal of Casey Anthony, um, who was found not guilty of killing her daughter, Kaylee. Um, the world was turned upside down. All the comparisons to O.J. Simpson were just, just sick. Um, people have lost their minds. They want this lady's head on a platter. You know, they want the justice system overturned just because of what happened with Casey Anthony.
the normal fashion. I mean, when she's um, done with the legal thing going on here, down here in Florida. But um, it's not like she's just gonna go down to the uh, Walmart and go shopping. I mean, she's basically gonna be the bitch with the scarlet letter on her forehead. You know, um, but yeah, children are the endangered species. Excuse me, there. My first cup in the morning. Right on, big brother. So let me go give you my two cents on the Casey Anthony thing. The whole time I'm watching this on Nancy Grace and on the, you know, headline news and all that stuff, the whole time I'm watching it, all these people were saying is how guilty she is. The whole news coverage was biased. Not Jose biased, but there was bias. Because there's like, oh, she's guilty, she's guilty, she's guilty. Well... That's nobody on TV's decision to say she's guilty. That was their opinion. But if every one of them's opinion was saying she was guilty, it was bound to be a not guilty verdict. I don't remember so many people was talking all that, OJ's guilty, OJ's guilty, during the trial. You know? And another thing, while I'm trying to watch this, I'm injured, you know, while I'm trying to watch this stuff, like I said, every channel was, she's guilty. Everybody was talking like, oh, it's just a matter of time, she's guilty. Well... I thought she was guilty of killing her child, but not murder. Murder. You know, she did it. Or she was so negligent that, you know, something happened. It could have been an accident. Hell, she could have been out there. She could have been telling the girl all damn day, oh, we're going to go swimming. We're going to go swimming. We're going to go swimming. She could have got her ready to go swimming and went back and smoked a joint or something and got on the computer and forgot. The girl went out there, got in there, drowned. It could have happened. Things happen. Hell, I left some stuff on the stove cooking. Burn up. So, anything can fucking happen. And the thing is, for these people to all be so closeted and, and shut up, think about this. The girl's father was a cop. And in this day and age where we live in and everybody wants to get some free fame, look at Mark Class. When Polly was kidnapped and murdered, raped and murdered, this made this shot this man up. He's all on TV. He's going around places, and that happens with certain people. When certain people get killed or whatever, or, or a child been looking for a child for a long time, all of a sudden the parents get this instant celebrity. What if there was an accident and these people was having some financial struggles? The father said, "You know what? I got this. You just going about your life like nothing happened." Come on, they always lied. Everybody in the family lied. They proved to be liars. So think about it. It could have been set up from the beginning. You know, the cops are all sucked in because it's like, hey, I'm a former cop. So they're listening to him and he's sucking them in. Then the wife sucks them in. And then they're all sucked in. There's a master plan. And all of a sudden, this page flips. Oh, we don't like our daughter. We hate her. But then they do things to get her off. So think about it. If this was a scheme or some plan, it worked perfectly. Because all you got to do is sit on your ass for three years and don't say shit. I got this. You know, just, just constantly just don't say nothing. I got this. And it came out in the end. Parents jumped up, walked right out of the courtroom. They could have walked out the courtroom like, Whew, we did it. They could have been a family saddled down and burdened with the raising another kid forever. 
or they probably did love their granddaughter. But some people find an opportunity to make an opportunity, make an opportunity, make an opportunist moment happen. And they all can go have their own uh, Casey uh, fun foundations. They all can have it. The person that played the villain, she's going to get her paycheck for playing villain. And they'll have their, you know, honor for their granddaughter forever. Little, uh, be going on around the world on tour talking about how, you know, what to try to look at and find in your sick daughter and shit. All kind of things they're going to do. I heard today she was offered a deal to be in a porno movie. These same people was on news talking about how guilty she was. Guilty, guilty, guilty. They were leaving subliminal messages too. The message they were leaving is the guilty, guilty, guilty. But in the court of law, you got to let the law prevail. You just can't say somebody's guilty because you think you want it to be that way. All right, even two. Back from school, son. You guys talk about the guilty lady from killing her kid. See, you kids oh, nowadays. Lady? Yeah. Not guilty. Yeah, the lady, uh, said on TV. I'm yeah. Teachers talking about it in school. You know it's history now. She's going to be part of history forever. Part of history forever. Letting your kid get killed or just not giving a damn if your kid's dead. Didn't Whatever. She, wasn't, that the, wasn't that the lady that killed the kid because thought the world was going to end? Nah, somebody killed her kid because they thought the world was going to end? That oh. sucks. You hear about the little kid that got killed in Runner Park? Mm -hmm. Yeah, some 18-year-old um, girl had a babysitter. Mm -hmm. Babysitter's 15-year-old boyfriend beat one of her daughters to death. Over there by your auntie's house. Let's see if Nancy Grace get on that case. Yes. Runner Park, California. I think it was last week. A young mother. I guess she was going out. She hired the 16-year-old babysitter to watch her three daughters. Apparently the 15-year-old boyfriend beat one of them to death. Punched her in the face. The mother was coming back from wherever she was. She pulled up at the house. Ambulance was there. Of course they took the little boy in jail. The boy's done. But they let the babysitter go. Where's the justice in that? Alright, now I gotta go though. Did you check it out though? Look around. Runner Park, California, the week of January 4th. You know, around there somewhere. Look look it up. It happened. It's gonna be the next big case. Like I said, the girlfriend is gone home and the boyfriend has gone to jail in my opinion the babysitter should be in jail with the boyfriend for killing that little girl let's see if uh you know nancy grace will talk about these people you know they're not beautiful people out here you know but they are young white folks so maybe it'll all get the news that it deserves all right so um yeah everybody was young and white in that situation so um let's go ahead and see if anybody sees what I see in these uh, translations, these subliminal messages in the translations. Hey, like I said, the whole news coverage of this trial, all their analysts were saying the girl was guilty. There was no unbiased opinion at all on that network. So if you ask me, those people who said they saw a little bit of Nancy Grace and stuff uh, before the trial, those jurors that claimed they didn't see it, they saw all the negativity. You can't tell somebody that somebody is guilty for two and a half years and all of a sudden, you know, you see for yourself from a different perspective, you can't actually believe that. They went in there looking for a reason to find her not guilty because they probably heard so much of her guilt. So you have to look at everything you say in the media because apparently that was wrong. They don't think about people. They don't think about how people think. Not everybody's one-dimensional, one-minded, so to speak. Everybody has their own formulations so what's reasonable doubt well when these people say duct tape was placed over her face to kill her but then they also tried to lead it to make it look like the chloroform killed her what did it the duct tape or the chloroform see what I'm saying if you want me to believe the duct tape then you know you have to prove to me that the duct tape was stuck to the skull if the duct tape was placed on there to keep the skull in together why had the whole bottom of the face fall off all kind of things like that <laughs> You know, plus, one more thing, when you're watching it on TV, notice how they went to commercial right as the defense was saying something positive or something good for, um, you know, Kaylee. No, I'm sorry, Casey. The names mixed me up the whole time. So, um, 
Soft the Hook, Gene Casares, uh, Nancy Grace, and uh, what's that, uh, Vel D's lady, and then uh, I forgot the little black guy's name, the bald guy, and the guy who always wore the pink shirt. They had some pretty good coverage, but it went out. They cut people off when the people were trying to say something positive and uh, got Casey's, uh, you know, defense. And it's like, to be unbiased, no. Oh, she's guilty, she's guilty. Well, you told everybody she was guilty for three years, and look what happened. You proved yourself wrong. All the analysts were wrong. And then, there's a couple of them backpedal. backpedal. Well, you know I've been home. I'm talking on the same subject too long. I got the fuck out of here, sorry. You've been tubed. Uh, Nancy Grace, all that stuff. I gotta go. Bye. Okay, fuck it.